Hello, I'm Governor Mike Castle, and I want to welcome you to Delaware, a state that is packed with plenty of things to see and do. Whether it's art that you're after, history, wildlife, or our miles of beaches, there's something for everybody. And we're going to show you the scenic routes that will take you there, the routes you won't want to miss. So buckle up and let's go. Travel in Delaware, and you'll find you've embarked on an extraordinary journey. A journey full of surprises. A journey that is rich in the things that make a weekend, a day trip, or an extended stay enjoyable and memorable. Northern Delaware. Traveling through the lush, rolling hills of the Brandywine Valley, this is museum country. An impressive mix of history and art, and towns full of antique shops and fine restaurants. In Wilmington, near Route 52, you'll discover a museum which features 150 years of American art on display in permanent and changing exhibitions. Route 52 rolls past some of the valley's finest museums, which house everything from one of the finest exhibits of seashells to the world's largest collection of American decorative arts, all set on English-style gardens where you'll find an arboretum containing thousands of species and varieties of plants, exotic trees, and shrubs. And nearby is a place which displays indoor and outdoor gardens and heated year-round conservatories. An interesting sidetrack is Route 82, rolling through hills and valleys that lead to places like the Ashland Nature Center, where you'll find guided hiking trails and nature education programs. Running adjacent to Route 52 is Scenic Route 100, near the meandering Brandywine River, where you'll find a stopping point that lets you re-enter the world of 19th century American life. Or travel east and discover an estate surrounded by 300 acres of formal French gardens. Or explore another museum which contains four centuries of decorative arts. Or follow Route 100 farther north for a glimpse of three generations of Wyatt paintings. Branching from Route 100 is Route 92, which weaves north into Brandywine Creek State Park. Cruising south from Wilmington, Delaware's largest city, along Route 9, leads you to the first landing site of William Penn, Newcastle, where you may tour colonial homes where some of America's leaders once lived. A perfect stopping place to discover and explore a town rich in history. Back on Route 9 and traveling south, destination, Delaware City. Once a major Delaware port, the city has kept its historic 19th century atmosphere. Here you may board a boat for Pea Patch Island and explore Fort Delaware State Park, which features a Civil War era prison fort. A quick turn off Route 9 will lead you to the charming town of Odessa where you'll discover the nationally registered historic district with its fine display of homes that are rural adaptations of urban Georgian architecture. Perhaps the most scenic route in Delaware, Route 9, continues south past little towns with restaurants to stop for some of the best crabs you'll find anywhere, and refuges such as Bombay Hook, where you'll find over 15,000 acres of nature preserves for migrating and resident waterfowl. Continuing south on Route 9, a turn onto Route 8 will lead you directly to the capital city of Dover and to the Capitol Complex, where in 1776, the Declaration of Independence was read to the public and where the Constitution was first signed for ratification. Farther west on Route 8 is the rural charm of one of the largest enclaves of Amish farms in the nation, a charming glimpse into another culture a different way of life.
back on the road and heading farther south, Route 9 winds past the Dover Air Force Base, home of the enormous C-5 Galaxy, and nearby is the 18th century boyhood home of colonial patriot and signer of the Constitution, John Dickinson. As you pass by the town of Milford, Route 113 runs into Route 1, where tiny fishing villages and inlets dot the Delaware Bay, where you'll travel along 25 miles of Atlantic coastline. Where the bay meets the Atlantic at Cape Henlopen is Lewis. Known for its fishing marinas, it is Delaware's oldest settlement, established by the Dutch in 1631. Lewis is linked to the Atlantic by Cape Henlopen State Park, which consists of over four miles of open shoreline. Before you continue your journey south, you may want to take a drive along Route 24, a region that hugs the Indian River shoreline, passing through the town of Millsboro and on to Trap Pond State Park, where you'll find the northernmost public-owned stand of bald cypress in the U.S. Route 24 will also lead you to Bethel, a former 19th century shipbuilding town where charming Victorian homes line the streets. And on to the town of Laurel, where you'll find historical homes and quaint little inns. Returning to Route 1, we continue south to the nation's summer capital, Rehoboth Beach. South of Rehoboth is Dewey Beach, between the Atlantic Ocean and Rehoboth Bay or continue traveling south to Bethany Beach and Fenwick Island. Build as the quiet resorts, Bethany's Boardwalk is home to one of the best summertime arts and craft shows in the region, and Fenwick Island is the southernmost of Delaware's beach communities. You'll find the original Trans Peninsula markers where Mason and Dixon started their survey, and the historic Fenwick Island Lighthouse, which began operation in 1859 and is still in service today. So why don't you set out and begin your own journey in Delaware? It's a state rich in surprises, packed with history and art, wildlife, and the drama of the Atlantic shoreline, all within a day's drive, all very close to home. Delaware, it's all the places you'd rather be. Well, I hope you enjoyed your trip. Of course, we couldn't show you all of the great places in Delaware, but I think you'll find that discovering them for yourself is half the fun. If you'd like a copy of our official state highway map or tour guide, just call our toll-free number, and we'll see you soon.